do like those egg-shaped chapsticks, though. Oh, Aos, those don't work for me, though. I'm suspicious of them. They mm. smell good. Why are they egg-shaped? All right, all I right. I like flatworks, all right, too. All right, What are we doing here? We're talking about egg chapstick. Come on. We have Mario news to talk about. Hey everybody and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Thursday. It's been a pretty slow year for the Switch, aside from Animal Crossing, one of the best selling games uh, ever, right? Gosh, Paper Mario yeah. and Luigi's Mansion 3, there haven't been a ton of exclusives for Nintendo's popular hybrid console. Yeah, but this morning Nintendo dropped a Mario-sized bomb on us, announcing a slew of Mario-related games, including, most importantly, the 3D remasters that have been rumored for a while now. Nothing like a surprise direct to fix a slow Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nintendo. Yeah, to come commemorate the 35th anniversary of the original Super Mario Bros. Nintendo announced a bunch of Mario-themed stuff. Games, a new handheld system, other things. A shoe, a line of cereals. Chapstick. How do you like to apply chapstick? No, we're done with that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. So the headline is a collection called Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Nintendo calls them optimized versions of some of the biggest 3D Mario games. You got Super Mario 64, you got Super Mario Sunshine, you got Super Mario Galaxy, the first, just the first one though. Nintendo says they'll have higher resolutions than the original and they've been optimized for a smooth gameplay experience only on the Switch. It also has a music player in game that'll let you play songs from all three games. The collection is due out later this month on September 18th, and weirdly, it's just a limited release. It'll be available until March 31st of next year. So, well, at the end of Toyota-thon, Mario will be out. You can only buy this until our fiscal year ends, and then the party is over. Uh, like we said, the existence of this collection has been reported for a while now, but you can only get it for a while, which is very strange. Such a yeah. weird move. Don't love it. Nintendo Why? than a Nintendo, I guess? Are they, doing, are they trying to do the Disney thing? So I was talking to a dev about this literally yesterday in that generally when you see remasters, less so for remakes, but if you see a remaster or a re-release, it is 100% considered a marketing expense, they don't generally make that much money back on sales. It is always to test the waters for a new game of that type. And I think that will 100% apply to Tony Hawk. I think that would 100% apply if EA ever remastered Mass Effect. Nintendo, I don't know what the yeah. f*** they're doing. Maybe we can hope they do a similar thing before Zelda with like Wind Waker remastered that people have been clamoring for forever and we'll get like Wind Another Waker one? Skyward Sword. Yeah, and it's available for two hours. Back in March, we started seeing reports of the collection. Turns out they were right. All three of those games are beloved by fans because they're all really yeah. good. So it'd be a good chance for newer players to experience some classics and for me to be able to play them without breaking out the Wii. It is a bummer that Galaxy 2 is not included in this, um, but hey, we'll take it. Um... I guess. Anyway, on to other announcements. They also announced yet another Wii U port. Nintendo said they're bringing an enhanced version of Super Mario 3D World, which came out almost seven years ago. Yeah, the new version features co-op gameplay, both locally and online, and also packaged with additional content called Bowser's Fury. It'll be out February 12th of next year. Well, we don't really know exactly what Bowser's Fury is, aside from an ominous treasure, but uh, Nintendo says that they'll give more details later. Nintendo also said that new amiibo figures like Cat Mario, Cat Peach, will also be released at the same time as the game. Uh, that's another solid choice to port over, like a lot of Wii U games. Super Mario 3D World was well received, but relatively few people played it because the Wii U was kind of a disaster sales-wise, because everyone sort of thought it was just a part of the Wii. Nintendo also announced a competitive online battle game called Super Mario Bros. 35. It's a bit like Tetris 99, where you're playing your own Mario game, but you can affect other players' progress by sending them your defeated enemies, and it's just 35 players at a time. It's out October 1st, available for Switch Online members. It'll also have a limited release for some reason until March 31st. Moving on, speaking of Switch Online, Nintendo announced that the Super Mario All-Stars collection that originally appeared on the Super Nintendo will be coming to Switch Online today. Am I wrong in thinking that every single one of those games is already playable on Nintendo Switch Online? Assuming you can't and or just don't know anything about these games, the collection has 16-bit versions of Super Mario Bros. You got Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. You got Super Mario Bros. 2. And you got Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, well, well worth a play if you've never tried it. And there's one more Mario thing to mention. Nintendo is also putting out a special handheld that's a throwback to the old school game and watch systems of the 80s. Uh, this one, though, has a more modern display and it'll come packaged with Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, and a special version of ball with a Mario makeover. Oh, and it's able to tell the time too. That was the exciting feature for me was the built-in clock. Definitely. We're not, we don't get those as much as we should. Just no. the simplicity in a machine. So it releases November 13th, but they suggested price of $49.99. So we got a release date and a price. Sony and Microsoft take 
take notes, maybe. You don't care. They don't care. Cutting burn. And speaking of cuts, let's talk about something we're excited about today. Cuts clothing. Hey, how's it going? It's me, Amir, from the editing bay. Just uh, cutting in here to bring you a super sweet, spicy deal. That's right, it's uh, today's sponsor. Listen, the t-shirt, it's it's a menswear staple, right? But it's long been plagued by horrible conditions, uh, like shrinkage, bacon neck, color fade, parachute fit, wrinkles, and stretching, and just, just to name a few. I know I have a few t-shirts that uh, are definitely, uh, you, you could tell they, they've uh, they've definitely gone through the ringer. And, and no matter how long you've settled for basic tees, it's long enough. Besides, every classic tee deserves a modern take. Cuts Clothing has completely changed the game. Their t-shirt has enough quality and style to wear in the office or on a date or anywhere in between. Maybe you're going on a date to the office. That'd be pretty cool. So now you don't even have to choose between a classic look or a modern look. Now you get both. And uh, like uh, uh, Hannah Montana said, best of both worlds. You know, like they say, yeah, your body's a temple. I mean, my body's built sort of like a Taco Bell, but it's still a temple. Fit, fabric, function, three Fs. The only shirt worth wearing. Athletic, tailored looking fit is perfect for work, a date, and everything in between. It's pre-shrunk, wrinkle-free, and retains shape over time. Their custom engineer Pika Pro Fabric can only be described as buttery soft. I like the sound of that. So that, my friends, is why Cuts is the only shirt worth wearing and loved by your favorite athletes, entrepreneurs, and even podcast hosts. Seems like everyone is wearing Cuts these days. So you can get 15 percent off your first order by going to cutsclothing.com slash inside. That is cutsclothing, C-U-T-S, C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G dot com slash inside. I-N-S-I-D-E. Not patronizing. I know you had a spell, but I just want to make sure you guys get that deal. 15% off. Come on, you can't go wrong. Thank you so much, Cuts Clothing, for sponsoring today's episode. Back to you all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this thing. So yeah, Nintendo loves coming out with special edition consoles like the Game & Watch throwback, and it's a cool tribute to a classic, which was pretty much the theme for the whole Direct. Yeah, Nintendo also showed off a new Mario Kart game called Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. But unlike other Mario Karts, the game comes with an actual mini cart that responds to your button presses on the Switch, and your home becomes the course as you race virtual characters or other toy carts in real life. I'm on board. It's a very Nintendo creation incorporating real life elements with the Switch, kind of similar to what they did with the Labo sets. Uh, yeah, Nintendo loves to make actual physical things to play with. They said in the past that they fundamentally consider themselves to be a toy company, so this is right up their alley. I will say, uh, Nintendo, you're not a toy company, you are a video game company. Now, video games are kind of toys, but let's make sure we stay focused on the games. And the toys are cool, but let's, you know, Let's stay focused. Stupid Miyamoto, what does he think he's doing? He's in his workshop tinkering away with his newest toy. Nintendo also announced a lot of Super Mario themed events that will happen between now and March. Later this year, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will have an online tournament using Super Mario series fighters, stages, and items. A Super Mario themed Splatfest is coming to Splatoon 2 in January 2021. And an anniversary themed Ninja Speedruns course is coming to Super Mario Maker 2 in November. There'll also be Super Mario themed furniture coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons in March. What? Pair perfectly with your Biden and Kamala yard signs. I'm actually pretty excited about that though. And I wish it went in March because I haven't visited my island in months. Kind of looks like you're there right now. It does. Oh, and they hyped up a bunch of products with Mario plastered all over them from basketball shoes to Legos, because ultimately this is all about getting your, your sweet nostalgia bucks. So it is all very strange that they're making announcements in September of the anniversary year for the anniversary. Uh, but hey, better late than never. I don't know, I just don't understand anything Nintendo does. Maybe it got delayed because of COVID-19. Uh, Nintendo did mention the pandemic in the Direct, adding that it could affect some release dates. Yeah, but all in all, this was a much needed presentation for Nintendo, which definitely needs some more Switch games this year. Uh, Reuters reported that investors have long lamented the Japanese company's reluctance to take greater advantage of its back catalog of hit titles. Yeah, Nintendo has always been weird about how and when it chooses to release its old games. They have a roster of IP that is unlike any other in video games, but the way they use it is strange and sometimes seemingly not to their benefit. Kind of like how Disney creates artificial scarcity by vaulting some of its movies and then releasing them at strategic times kind of seems to be what Nintendo is doing here. So get it while it's hot. Yeah, and even with a sparse release calendar this year, it's, as we said earlier, not hurting Nintendo's stock price. The company is trading at 12 year highs and everything they're doing is selling incredibly well. Uh, Animal Crossing is 
for sure on track to be the best selling game on the platform. Yeah, and what you want to do is buy low and sell high. Is what I know about business. And are they traded on the Nasdaq? I don't believe we can give financial advice. It's a it's a bull market. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just saying what I've heard. That's I uh, okay. I think <laughs> Apple is hot right now. So if you had of Apple stocks, it's best to get them before they launched. So if you already have a bunch of it, you're good to go. <laughs> All right, that's that's that episode. Ooh, is Toad getting a new game? Eat hot chip. Online. Is it Toad Tracker Tuesday? Is it Toad Tuesday? No, damn it, Patrick, think bigger. Online. There's probably no more legendary character in video games than Shy Guy. No, it's Mario. <laughs> and this year is a banner year for everyone's favorite plumber. Are we just gonna gloss straight over Yoshi? Is that what we're doing? Yeah.